So here in my front end, I don't have any slider information because I didn't install the slideshow widget. So here's back end, here's the front end. So let's just keep this back end just as it is for right now. If I wanted to add new, edit the slideshow, I could add new images or new information from here. We'll talk about that later. So let's get back into here. So as I explained in an earlier video, we can edit that particular layout by clicking right here under theme management and edit layout. Then based on these choices, where do you want to put the slider? Now, in this particular case, I could go down here to my slider, ultimatum slider, slideshow, and I could drag that up here. Now, the problem with this is this is now part of this row and it's not going to be full width. So I definitely don't want to put that there. I want to put the slider because I want my slider to be full width. So I'm just going to save that temporarily just to share with you. And I'm going to go back to insert row. And based on these choices, you might think I'm going to click here. But this is not really going to be an edge to edge full width. So I need to scroll down to the bottom. And based on these choices, it says right there, full width slider and that's exactly what I want to have whether it's full width for a laptop or a desktop or a tablet or an iPhone it will be a full width slider and I'm going to insert that now by default it's going to put that new row after our first row well that's not where I want to put it so how do I fix that I take this from here and I drag that right to the top then I'm going to take this slider and drag that up to here and save the changes down at the bottom Actually, that's that, that was saved. So I saved the layout. All right, now here's what I need to do. Because I only have the one slider, it automatically it was smart enough to know to put it in the main slider. Now I can also use post as a slider. I can also use categories as a slider. So that's our main slider. Okay, now it's gonna say, if slideshow source is content, we're just gonna leave this right the way it is by default. Now, here's a very important part to pay attention to. The height of my slider. Well, what is the height of my slide? Okay, so if I click right here and go to edit, you will see that the height of this is 320 pixels high. And that's part of the reason I left that window up there, by the way. I've done this before. <laughs> so if I click right here, we're gonna make my slider height 320 pixels. Okay, now based on these choices, the ultimatum theme ships with a bunch of different types of sliders. Based on these choices, we're gonna make this the flex slider. And just so you understand this, sliders slide in what's called milliseconds using JavaScript. JavaScript is which typically controls most sliders using PHP. And of course, WordPress is a PHP based application. So when you see 7,000 milliseconds, it's actually seven seconds because again, if you wanna take a note on this, if you're watching my dashboard videos, you can type right in there that 1,000 milliseconds equals one second. So if you wanted this to be five and a half seconds, it would be, unless you slept through fourth grade math class, it would be 5,500 milliseconds. So we're gonna keep this exactly the way it is by default. Now here's what I wanna share with you, okay? In my videos, my objective is to get you up and learning the software the right way. I'm not going to go into every little minutia nuance. That's what your practice is for. If you want to be good at this, here's what I suggest you do. For every half hour of video, don't sit there and binge watch the videos hour after hour because you're not going to comprehend it. I would say for every 20 minutes to a half hour of watching, spend two to three hours of practice, practice, practice. Get to know the little nuances. So I don't wanna bore you with every single option because there's tons of options. Get to know the options and if you make mistakes, that's okay. That's how we learn. Okay, so I come down here and I save the changes. I come up here and I save the layout. So understand what we have. I have a row, a row to put the slideshow. I have a widget, the widget for the slideshow, and I have a slideshow built. Say that five times fast. So now if I come up here to my page, I can see there is my slideshow and it's set up to full width, which means if I scroll the window down, the slideshow is gonna grow with the window. So if I go all the way down to a laptop, uh, by the way, these are different, my favorite plugins. We'll talk about that in a subsequent video. So pay no attention to the man behind the curtain here. So that, isn't that pretty cool? I think that's really cool. Okay. 
So that's how easy it is to put a slider in there. Really nice stuff. Re I think it's really important stuff. Now in our next video, I will share with you a really cool technique of targeting sliders for that particular page. So as an example, say that I'm talking about cars, I might want to bring up the car slider. And if I'm talking about trains, I might want to bring up the train slider. So let's basically target sliders per page or per category. We'll do that in our next video. So stay tuned.